had high hopes for this one. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I want to be nice. My name is Brianna Nicole Abrams. I'm originally from New Orleans, and now I'm living in Los Angeles, California. My name's Irma, and I'm born and raised in Eunice, Louisiana, a town two and a half hours east of New Orleans. My name is Raquel Honoré. I'm from New Orleans, and I live in Los Angeles. Growing up in New Orleans, it was very family-oriented and very cultural. Taking musk sacks out of raccoons, uh, picking greens in the backyard, whatever, you, yes, that's me. During the springtime, that's when everybody is having crawfish boils, and that's like my favorite time in New Orleans. Being Creole is, to me, like one big extended family. It has white, Spanish, Haitian. You live in certain neighborhoods and everybody knows each other. Everybody's almost related. The secret ingredient in this gumbo is okra. A lot of people don't like okra, but this is the kicker. This is what makes gumbo, gumbo. This is actually a secret family recipe. I can't really tell you what's in it, but it's really good. I don't make my gumbo hot. I think mine is really flavorful. You can tell it has a lot of love in it. You taste all the spices and different seasonings because I make sure I pick good stuff. And then it should be like, you know, smooth. <laughs> I'm gonna win today because I put love in my gumbo. How can you lose with that? Mm. This is nice. Oh, this thin. Oh yeah, uh-huh. It has shrimp, it's nice, it's beautiful. It, it, it's a good set of ingredients. Okay. <laughs> this one looks very unappetizing. <laughs> Hers is just lighter. I guess she didn't have that much time to make it. This one doesn't look like they cooked the sauce long enough just because it's so white. Like the sauce should look dark. And this looks like milk, kind of. I'm sorry. Yeah, it tastes like chicken noodle soup. No. Or they, yeah, they, have they made gumbo before? No either. It just tastes like shrimp soup. Like, it doesn't taste that good at all. If I were home, I'd be like, what's wrong with the gumbo? I like that they try. They get, you know, a A for effort. You still think that they're from the I'm struggling. I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. This is definitely a person from LA. I give this a three. <laughs> she gotta be like a second generation Creole. But this, yeah, this, this, she wasn't with her mama. I'm gonna say a four. I'm gonna win today, cause this is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> This has a lot of meat in it. Nice dark gumbo. It smells really good. I usually like less rice, but um, looks good. I think the rice kind of overpowers it a little bit. It's okra gumbo. 
I like how it's not too spicy, but you do taste the spices. Pretty good, pretty good. I think this person's from New Orleans. Um, Cause I just wanna give everybody the benefit of the doubt, I guess. <laughs> no. I think they're 100% Louisiana. It tastes very authentic. So I would maybe add some more seafood. It's kind of like basic a little bit, but for somebody who's, you know, not from New Orleans, I guess they would like it. I would give this an eight. I would give this a seven because it's not too bad. But like I said, the rice is definitely overpowering the flavor. I'm going to win today because I put a lot of effort into this. I cooked this for about three hours and like I said, I used a family recipe that's secretive. So I feel like I'm gonna win. They didn't separate everything. Juicy like I like it. Okay, it's hard. They got something hard in here. <laughs> Y'all want me to taste it? It looks like it has some, some good ingredients, some shrimp, some peppers. Good. Yeah, it tastes all right. It tastes like California. California gumbo. I'm digging it. <laughs> this could be in the box, like the Tony Sachery version of this. It's got a punch of flavor. It's got like, you know, when you still feel it on your, your tongue and you're like, mmm, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I said I wasn't gonna talk bad about nobody food. <laughs> I would give this one a nine. I'm, I'm not gonna front. I will give it a nine. I like it. I will rate this a five. I know y'all remember me from the pork chop competition where y'all drilled me in the comments. Now it's real raw right here, and I can't chew no more. So guess what, I'm back. Today I'm here to try out some Louisiana gumbo, and I'm gonna give my honest opinion. Y'all know I'm gonna tell the truth, and y'all bet not have no corn in there. Okay, which one I wanna try first? I'm gonna try this one first. It's giving soup. It has a little flavor, but it's not giving gumbo. I'll give it a five. This one looks good. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Let's see, I want this side, I want the chicken. No. I don't know what this is, but I'll give it a three. This one is too white for my liking, but let me swallow this one first. Hold on. Because that one was rough. It was not appealing, I'll tell you that. You know, it's, it could have used a whole lot of seasoning. Don't have no taste to it. I'll give this one a one. I'm just really excited that I won and I knew I was gonna win, so this doesn't really come as a shock or a surprise to me.